Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can connect our laptop to the controller M251 D-Pack uh, via Ethernet. Okay, so let's go to the presentation. The idea of this part is to use another software called Ecostructure Automation Device Maintenance that will allow us to change the IP address and also change the firmware the controller so on this video what i'm going to show you is how we can connect via internet with the device and how we can establish this communication so let's continue with this we saw in the previous video how to make the factory reset so in order to connect via ethernet of course we need the cable but we need to know which is the default ip address so the default ip address it will depend on which port so the first port with this one with the switch it has this ip address 10.10.xx .10 which this xx is the less uh, four digits that you have on the mac address on the port okay and the internet port 2 are the last four digits over here but it starts with 10.11 and we need to make sure here the subnet mask Something important is that we have credentials already set on the controller by default. So we need to know that the user is installer and the password is installer one, but with some adjustment on the word. So in this case, and you see this one, are you seeing this? So in the front of the, the, dri the drive, the PLC, okay we have this one this is for the ethernet board 2 and let me just adjust this a little bit here we have the other one okay so in order then to figure it out which is the ip address i recommend you to take a look into windows and check this um the calculator okay so here you just need to enter the exa number that we have so zero one is one okay but in this case for the 5b okay is 91 so this one gives us this ip address okay for the internet port one of this controller let me just double check uh, no this one is not the one <laughs> this one so this controller is using this one so if we go back so we have the D6 is 214 and DB is 219. Okay, this is how we can get the IP address for this particular device. So if everything goes well, we should be able to ping this device. Okay, so I'm going to open the CMD on my side and we just ping it. Okay, ping 10.10.214.219. There we go, you have it. And if you don't believe me, just put it in there and remove this from here. Okay. Time out. And there we go. So this is how you can check, partially check that you have the connection with the controller. So let's close this and proceed with this one. So. Imagine that you don't know that you have the ping okay yet. So we need to set our computer in order to communicate with the controller. So we just need to open the uh, control panel. And open on the other window. There we go. So we just need to go to network sharing center, change adapter settings. And here in my case is this one right click properties we just need to select tcp ip4 properties and here we can set the ip address of the equipment in this case you can see that it's not in the same range okay because i'm using the advanced option in the advanced option it gives you the possibility to add another network so you can have the same port with different configuration for different networks 
So you can add here the IP address as it show you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it follows properties, TCP IP version four, properties again, and here you have the possibility to set. And in the advance, this is how it looks like. Okay, in case you want to add it the other port. So if we ping this, okay, as I show you, it works. So now let's go to the software that allows us to connect with the device. So if we open the EcoStructure Automation Device Maintenance, this is how this is the view that we have. Okay, so we have the possibility to easily um, recognize equipment on the network um, using the just double check DW DPWS. Okay, here you just need to select the network that you're going to connect. In my case, is the Ethernet connection seven, which is the one that I showed you before. Okay, connection seven. Okay, the one that I have here. So in this way, you you can easily recognize the devices that you have on your network. Okay, so um, I am selecting manual discovery. If you type over here, device discovery status, here you can start and it should be recognize the device that I have here. Okay, you can see here is recognized. Okay, so this is good when you don't have any security on the laptop otherwise uh, it would block it for example if you are an schneider employee and you have set a skylar then you will need to disable it otherwise this part is not going to work okay so um i'm going to start a new one new project okay no so i can start fresh without using that so Imagine that I don't, I'm not able to do that option or the device is not recognized. So what we can do is to add the equipment. So if we press the add button over here, we just need to find here the commercial reference, which is this one, M2.5.1.M.D.E.S.E. -E. And here we just need to type the IP address. In our case, the IP address was 10.10. I don't remember. It was the standout. Let me just write it down. It was this one? I don't forget. Ten dot ten dot two one four dot two one nine. Good. So be possible on this one. It was exactly the same as the presentation. Okay, good. Um, so they have two different ones. I don't remember which one is one. So this one's going to be two one. No. So, don't need to put anything over here to just add the device. And here you can see that the status, the device is reachable. So, it indicates, okay, I can see the device is in there. Okay, so that is one thing that we need to do. As you can see over here in the actions part, we have this icon over here, which is related to the certificates, the credentials for that device. So what we need to do is to click over here to be able to see this certificate and we just need to trust it and trust. Then you can see that the red part is Spanish, scan. So as soon as it's finished, what we need to do is to set the credentials that basically is trying to log in into the controller. But before doing that, let me just check. I don't want to avoid or do something else. Okay. This part is complete, good. And then we just need to go to the credentials. Perfect. Something important here is that we need to pay attention on the colors that we have on this icon. Okay, so this icon means that I'm not even connected or logging with the device. This icon over here with the yellow is means so okay, I have probably established the communication with the device, but you just need to connect okay it's like okay i'm able to log in just need to connect after this and then as soon as we are connected with this okay we should be able to uh that means that everything is fine so as soon as we click over here we need to set the credentials which are the ones that we have already have by default so set credentials okay 
here I'm going to use um, installer okay and installer one I think I did it wrong no it's good so I'm going to save and go saves only save so you can see here okay it's valid or seems to be valid I already said something okay that is what it meant I just use some credentials it doesn't mean they are correct so here I can use connect to do that is forbidden okay so something I did wrong and if you pay attention okay the installer is everything um, with no capital letters so here you can see I did it wrong so it gives us this error over here so if I use uh, blah 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 okay save is saved you can see there is yellow there is no warning at all because there is no comparison yet so if I connect again the error so set new credentials installer nothing in capital and you can see here the first letter is going to be in capital the a is going to be the at and then i have the number one so i'm going to save it now so i believe now it's okay if we follow these credentials okay which are the default ones we should be able to connect so we go back here connect and there we go we should be able to connect with the controller so this is how we can use this in order to connect to the device maintenance okay and i'm going to jump into another unit yet but i'm just going to show you this part then we are going to see how we can um change the ap address or change the firmware so uh da -da -da. this is the message okay forbidden it means that we have done something wrong as i show you that i use a different username here um so these are the credentials we need to check and use this without the a over there okay so we already add the device on the list trust credentials login and connect okay so this is how we can connect to the controller okay using the device maintenance in the following videos what we're going to see is how we can change the ip address and also how to update the firmware so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.